Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck and Around the Plug. Today we are so excited to have Cam Toner back on the show to be talking to us about the upcoming Snackers V3 Blueberries. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And, and ring that bell if yes. you have notifications on when they post. Yes. I love it. I always it. forget, on, I always forget that. Cam is the ring the bell guy when he's I on. I always forget. On. He's good at it. Steve's <laughs> yeah. been outsourcing this more and more. Or so like more people are becoming the ring the bell people and he does Bro. it through like initial shame, which it's, I love. It's great. That's it that's what so it's good. all about. You gotta oh, outsource stuff, you know? That's how that's how it works. One hundred percent. But Cam, how you doing, man? How have you been? I am fantastic. I am so excited for this launch. I feel like this is our first big launch of twenty twenty one. And it's like it's I don't know. I, I felt like last year was kind of our comeback year. Like we really like hit the ground running and like we did. killed it last year. And I think yeah. this year, like I want to keep the momentum going forward. So uh, doing this whole campaign has been really like fun. And like, it's really gotten me back into like the, the, you know, we're producing decks and coming out with decks. It's gotten me excited again about that's party. good, man. Yeah. yeah. We're excited about it. That's what Dude, I'm so I, pumped I love on this blueberries, one. by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Dude, yeah. now this is this is a fun one and i think the color scheme for it and everything you really like you crushed it with this one why thank you yes the snackers the fun part about the snackers line is that it, it's been a vision actually since the beginning nice. right. so when we first come up with snackers I, in my head i'm like oh i i know what i want to do with this entire line and it, it's been really fun to see it kind of play out and like each year we're like oh here's the blackberries and now here's the blueberries uh what i didn't plan was the smell fiasco last time I'm gonna. We're gonna say this at least twelve times on this episode. It does not smell like the blackberries. It's actually. Yeah, it's definitely does not. Yeah. Now it's much more subtle. It's not obtrusive, and it doesn't no. like last on the cards. It doesn't like haunt you as you play with the cards, which I think no. is good. Yeah. Yes, your apartment won't smell like it for a month. It's, it's like it's a little stronger than the than the strawberry one. If we have any OG people that remember the strawberry one, but. It's not as bad as the, as the blackberries. No, so, yes. nothing as bad as blackberry ones. No, that was that was that was a time. Yeah, <laughs> and that was the first thing Steve and I wanted to check because, like, I love the fact that you still threw the sticker in the bag, but I'm like, ooh, after the blackberries, like that was a risky yeah. move, like everything, man. And I think it uh it really paid out. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Actually, as proof. <laughs> I'm gonna open it, smell it, and not pass out. Okay. Yeah, the... As proof, the sticker is still intact. See that? Yeah. Yes, it is it's not, not all gooey with oil. It um, you, you can actually to... still use the sticker, and it's a fun little sticker too. I love honestly. I think this may be my favorite Snackers, just because it's just so fun. The sticker's yeah. cool. The Ace of Clubs as the big central pip Ace was fun. Like everything about this deck is just so dope. Here, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you on the Ace there. Here we go. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Coming to focus here, dude. When I when I was doing the deck specs on it, I was like, "Wait a minute, Wait, where's you know?" Because that's I always go to the Ace of Spades first for you right. guys. Because you guys just does. crush it every time. So I'm yeah. like, "Oh, did they forget? Like, what happened? Where did it then, go?" And then as I was going through, I saw the club, and I'm like, uh. "And it makes so much sense though. The second you see it, you're like." You know, that, that makes perfect sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Like, it's so good. Yep. I, you know what, and you know, like Steve said, he always goes for the Ace of Spades. For me, it's always about the, uh, the little, like, quirks to all the courts, the little fun additions that you throw in there. And I think this uh, one, to me, just pops so awesomely with them. Like, the, the, bagel. the bagels, the, the bagels, bagels killed me. I was not expecting that at bagel all, brown. and I saw it, and I love the little, like, the smoothie. I love that the Queen of Spades is holding the snackers like smoothie is that a is that a smoothie or is that boba no, i'm just which, kidding, I'm uh, kidding. It's jack jack spades. i think it's a milkshake yeah there you go yeah, yeah, yeah. or a smoothie or a smoothie yeah yeah it's a smoothie. i think the one that the one that throws me the most is like blueberry hard candies on the jack of diamonds and i'm like yo they basically stole your grandma's candy like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i love it like, i for for some reason i just was like oh it's like the jolly ranchers and i was like oh wait like those are blue raspberry. Yeah. And I was like, ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll understand. I'll get it. Dude, no, yeah, you know, it definitely comes off favorite. like hard candy. This is my favorite right here. Oh, the, oh, the bush. bush. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's oh, definitely my it's favorite. It's so good. Has some of the green in there. Dude, this, this, 
purple like, is just yeah so I like good the monochrome like i i think that that's one of the things that i really liked about the blackberry snackers is was just like the purple monochrome it looked very royal yeah, yeah the the blue is kind of the same effect like i think that it looks very like very royal in terms of being like a color scheme yeah i i love it just love it's the, like so like close to, to focus here it's like very close yeah. to the yeah, i love it the purple so tone, fun you know oh yes so good yeah. so good dude so what was the in like you said you had this whole kind of lined up in your head from the jump so we all knew or at least you knew that blueberries were coming but i i think one of my favorite parts about this is the whole way you played in the trailer and blueberries and the blue light and this whole like oh. alien experience where did that come from like so again with with every with every release i i really want to have a story right like story is the thing that people remember and i think one of the fun things i do is i'll get sucked into going in like re-watching all of our trailers and i think that like the first trailer that we did that had a story was actually the strawberry snackers so it was the whole story of nate finding them in the store and then being like hey like you need to buy these snackers they're really good and like that story just kind of happened like on the spot and then from then on i really wanted to make a story with each trailer so then johnny appleseed in new york city and then uh sean coming with like the the blackberries that gave him cardistry powers like <laughs> i want i want every like because you almost go through and you're watching and you're like oh my gosh like that's the first thought of when you think of the deck is you're like oh my gosh grandpa cam like corn <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean yeah and i think that i think that it's really fun to have a story that ties into what the deck is and i think that it's fun that i'm able to be more creative than just being like they're blueberries you know what i mean <laughs> like instantly i think i was in the shower i have sh i'm a shower thoughts person and i'm like what in the all? world yeah i'm like we're still in the middle of a global pandemic right we're still yeah. here it's like it's not changing anytime soon like i really i don't feel comfortable flying people out just because it's you know COVID. and i'm like what can we do to like have people be in the trailer but not be here yeah and for some reason i just thought of um I don't know why I thought of this, but I, I thought of it first going outside and do you, there's a movie with, um, oh my gosh, uh, Jim Carrey. And it's about this, uh, this girl that it's there. It's a very low budget film and it's older, but, uh, they pretty much the storyline is, is that, uh, him and his girlfriend or fiance break up. And then there's a thing that will erase the memory of somebody from your brain. Okay. And, like, he goes into, and he's like, all right, I'm going to race. I'm going to erase her memories. And then it's like throughout the movie, it goes through like the memories of them together. And like, you really don't know like when they met. Uh, and then he realizes that he's in love with her and he doesn't want to forget who she is, but like, he's already like in his mind in the process. So like they have this uh, scene where there's this, this big light comes down and it's like, it's the, the thing that's chasing them, like chasing his memories. And he's like running from it. I don't yeah. know why I thought of that scene, but like, I was like, oh my gosh, like what if we use like a blue light to like represent? And then I was like, aliens nice aliens cam aliens nice. and uh yeah so then you know we went through the whole thing of like them crashing outside and like the blue light i think went really well so then again you see that in the photos on our instagram like i went to lowe's and bought a bunch of like pieces of metal and try to do like a futuristic -y look to all the photos nice. and, like i think it's just fun to do that other than it just being like hey guys blueberries like you know, buy them <laughs> <laughs> and for anyone who wants to watch the movie that inspired Cam, there it's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, yes! which is a, a, which yes! is a oh, great. That, dude, that wasn't a B. That wasn't a B rated movie. That was not. That was not a high budget Jim Carrey it, movie no, at the time, though. Film. Yeah, yeah, low budget. budget wise, but that was like a huge movie. Yeah, that, was, yeah, that, that yeah, movie yeah. like hit yeah. big. Yeah, that was a yeah. good one. Yeah, yeah we because uh, in film school, like that was one of the films that one of my professors was like, we sat and watched, and he was like, you know, how much do you think was spent on this movie? And he was like, yeah, like they didn't spend anything. Like the big light was literally some guy in a helicopter with a 1K, just like, <laughs> just like, over, like them hovering over. Oh but my like, God, I love it. It's like he used that to show us that like you can get, like you, you're not bound by anything. Like yeah. you, you can make it work with what you got. You just have to figure out how to communicate what you want to communicate. So like, that was the one that he was like living in the uh, that town. He was behind a set, wasn't he? What was that one? Oh, that's uh, that's uh, 
the Truman Show. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, all right. I know the difference now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like that's long-winded that's where the whole aliens idea came from so I'm like, i love that though it's cool and like it it was a way it was also a way for us to film the trailer in separate locations yeah right. so like david didn't come caitlin didn't come like they, we all shot our own stuff in our own place but like it kind of tied in the fact of like oh well the cards came to all of us like all yeah. the cards crashed down and like you know so then of course to really ram the story home, I changed the logo and like, of course, bought all the stuff for like the the metal to like kind of give that like futuristic -y kind of feel to it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I think I want when people think about a deck of cards, I don't want them just to be like, oh, this is cool. It's blueberries. Like I want there to be a story that people can tell. Right. Yeah. I mean, so now when you first teased the uh, the deck and you used the blue light and it didn't actually go into the full trailer, did people like immediately just be like, oh, they're blueberries because of the blue light? Or were there still people who just weren't, it didn't click right away? Uh, there were some people that it didn't click right away. Um, there isn't a lot of blue fruits. Um, so like, I think it was very, it was like a little like, it's uh, like a lot of people do this in marketing. They'll give you a nugget. They'll be like, here's here's what this is and people will be like oh my gosh like it has to be blueberries and then they get to thinking they're like but what if it's not blueberries and then they want it to be blueberries and then they're going to be upset if it's not blueberries yeah. and when it's blueberries they're like yes blueberries you know what i mean so you're kind of like you're you're giving them a little nugget and then they start to you know get in their own head of like what it could be and like you know they start to imagine things and i think when you give them what they want it's like they're like yes this is i love it that's so awesome. That's, that's kind of the goal behind that was to kind of like, you know, give you guys a little slivers so that everyone got excited and then boom, trailer. Nice. nice. Blueberries. Definitely a solid way to do it, man. And I, like I said, I really, I dug the trailer. I thought it was great. I still think the Shuckers is my favorite trailer, but that was just because yeah. Grandpa, Grandpa Cam, Cam. Grandpa, yeah, is amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Like that's, that's going to be a tough one to beat, man. Grandpa Cam, I, unfortunately, with uh, how busy we've been, I, I wasn't able to, like, get in the full makeup. Um, McKenna has been really slim with school lately. Uh, but Grandpa, I want I want Grandpa Cam to be, like, Stan Lee. Oh, my God, just make quick appearances. Like, like, PC universe. Like, I, I want him just to show up in trailers. And, oh, my God. Dude, so. that'd be Grandpa dope. Cam dropping, like, sick cardistry moves in a trailer for, like, flashes here and there would be so sick. I'd love that. Oh my god. And so so this has been a long time though coming for you. How does it feel to finally see that progression for Snackers V3 where you knew the blueberries were there? I mean, like you said, just from the teaser to now, people were hyped for blueberries. You've yeah. been sitting on this for, for a long time now. Yeah, I, I think I very much enjoy how it's all kind of come together. And I think yeah. I think that right now is the perfect time for blueberries. I mean, our last release was something that just blew everybody for a spin. Like we, no one expected that kind of back design. So I think yeah. it's nice to kind of reel everybody back in and be like, Hey, like we're still OPC. Like there, there is still this same back design, like the super simplistic back design with like the nice fun colors is still a thing. Like uh -huh. it's kind of nice. It's kind of a, of a nice, like, you know, bringing everybody back in, like, Ooh, like because i know a lot of people with the shuckers were like this is like crazy no and some yeah. people loved it which is fine yeah. that's what we expected so like i think this is a nice deck that it's like okay back to something that like everyone loves everyone enjoys everyone back to comfort yeah, you the get those you get those purists happy and, and right. back on board and right. no i think and i think it was a great way to go about it and i know this blueberry first off the blue colors you chose for this are just absolutely beautiful it's really interesting because there's so many different blues you could have gone for. And I think it works so nicely being like a lighter blue and then a nice, like almost like Navy kind of with a little bit of gray on the, the traditionally black, like suits and everything. It's it like looks so good of being purple. It's like very, it really, it's, it's like very deep. Navy. It's a very yeah. Navy. And then like a, the, the, um, like the numbered, like the reds are like more of this, like, like a periwinkly kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I dig it, dude. I think you did a phenomenal job with this. And I think one of the most exciting things about this deck, which isn't even necessarily related to this. Well, you know what? Before we even jump into that, I think what we <laughs> always love to see here, what we always like to see, I don't even want to get off the blueberries yet because there's so much great stuff to it. But I know one of the things we always love to see when we do these plug episodes is the half brick box. Yes. Yeah, so I actually just got these a couple days ago. I take photos with them still. But the half brick oh, box, dude. very similar to the to the Snackers V2 half brick box. I love uh, it. 
I definitely, if you're going to get more than like two, I recommend, this isn't just me being like a marketing person. Like, so good. I recommend you getting just six so you can get the half brick box. Cause like, it's so easy to store them in this thing. Like, I didn't put my snacker bags away until I got the half bricks. Nice. It's like, it's just so convenient to like put them inside. And then, you know, whenever you want, just go over to your desk, pull out a bag of snackers. Like <laughs> it, it's, it's very like displayable. You know, it I looks mean? like a, it reminds me like nostalgia wise of like a fruit snacks box. Like that's what I absolutely really? love about it. Like the games yeah. on the back, the little, like everything, the interactivity of it is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and this is, my yeah. favorite part is the the how many can you do like i'm very I, I get very excited when i see people being able to check off like a good amount of moves that people can do that's, that's cool. awesome though man and like are yeah they, i love that people share, you can have people share that and yeah oh yeah i'm hashtag it oh yeah like i think that that would be super cool that looks so good that's cool but, yeah. dude that's definitely one of the uh I think that's one of everyone's favorite parts about the OPC releases is like you yeah. do a great job building up like the hype around the deck itself. But then it's like, all right, let's see the half brick box also because it's <laughs> always something fun and it's always something thematic. You know, I think, you know, so many people can easily rely on the fact that it's like, all right, we're going to do a half brick box and it's going to be slight variations here and there. You really make it about the line that it's part of and it really pops spectacularly every single time. Yeah, no, it's definitely something that we all look forward to. And yeah. we also look forward to... Are you ready, Cam? Yep, I'm ready. I got it. Ready. <laughs> we always look ready. Uh, look ready. We always look forward to the new stickers, right? The new seal. holographic sticker seals that go into the passport. Yes. Yeah, so now, Tyla. This is a special one. This, this is, is what I was going to say. One. Yeah, this yeah. is a special one. This seals the deal. You yeah. see what I did there? Oh, Seals oh. the deal. So yeah, so those of you that have been collecting since the origination of the passport, uh, you now have a full passport. Uh -oh. It's crazy. It's been a year. It's been a whole entire year. Dude, That's crazy. That is crazy. All, like, what, looking back on it, it, it like is actually really crazy to me that this idea came about a year ago, and like each deck, like we've gone through, we've gotten the one step closer, and one step closer, and one step closer. And You're then so when awesome. we started designing it, I'm like, we're really designing it. Like, this is really, like, this is a thing that's happening. Eh. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I will give you one, I will give a one hint on what the exotic deck, like, looks like we did use foil. So, like, there is foil. Dope. Yes. Oh, we damn. tried using hot foil, but the, the place that we got it through, I guess, like, had some issues with the hot foil. So, it is cold foil. Okay. It's, it's, the, it's foil. It's going nice. to look so good. So that means you're printing through Katamundi. No. 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 Who are you printing through? I think it's, uh, I think we're printing through ta Taiwan. Oh, cool. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. TWPCC does, yeah. or Taiwan, they do phenomenal foil work over there. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm very pumped about it. Nice. And those decks always feel good it. too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So it's exciting. it'll be the first OPC deck printed outside of USPCC. Facts. Correct. That's this exciting. Is, That's this exciting. is really, yeah, this is really an exciting deck. I think all around, I think for anyone who, you know, and I think one of the cool things about this too, and this is something that we always need to make sure to mention, if you haven't been around since the beginning of the Passport program, that's not a problem because it's not a one and done kind of thing. And so for everyone out there who's going to be like super jealous once they see these exotic decks dropping, you're, you haven't missed out. Like there's still an opportunity to get in on the Passport program, find the stickers and save up to get the exotic deck. I'm pumped for it because I think the the whole program itself has just been awesome. But the fact that it's not just like, hey, if you missed out on one of these first six, you're you're out of luck. Like, yeah, eh. yeah. Because I think the the nice part about it is is that um, I have talked to Kevin, and really what we're going to be doing is, uh, I mean, it's it's kind of a first come first serve, so it does give like precedent to people that have been around since like the beginning of the passport. Yeah, um, but you will be able. So people that you know have been on the train since watermelons, uh, the deck that comes after blueberries, you will still be able to use that seal for the exotic V twos. Nice. So like, and so this passport program really isn't ending. It's it's just a continuation. Now eventually we will run out of exotic decks of the V one. Yeah. Right. So like, if you can get some stickers, can put it in your passport and send it in you can do that but there will be a couple more releases where like we have enough i mean yeah. i think we're printing like 1500 
So like, it's not a very small run. It's not like, oh, there's 300 of these. Like, ah, right. you know, right. it's like, again, I feel like that's very like, that's very like hype chasing. Yeah. Kind of, to kind of make that how it is. And right. I, this, this is supposed to be a reward. Like this is supposed to be like you buy six, six different decks. You get one deck for free. Like that. Which I think is awesome. That is dope. Right. And I like that it's kind of a, a, uh, secondary theme along with it and the fact that like yeah it's still a fruit based deck but it's exotic you know it's not something that we're going to see in the more kind of farmer's market-esque style of the opc fruits in the past i love that fact of it you know it really exotic makes it stand out more that reward is a special thing you know that's that's exciting man yeah and it'll be our first deck with actual foil yeah that's that's dope that's gonna be really fun man very excited to i'm very excited to get them and hold them and just be like this is now, when, when do you expect those to show up? Uh, that I'm not sure. I think they should be showing up in probably like mid to late March. Um, right. Again, okay. shipping with COVID is weird. Shipping with the whole thing that happened in Texas has been weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's going to be very a very interesting thing to kind of figure out how this works. Because, I mean, we this is the first time we've also done this. So it's going to yeah. be very uh interesting to kind of figure out like what how things go and like you know where they're gonna put the passports while they're waiting and like that kind of stuff so yeah uh definitely like we're gonna be working on all of that so if you ever have any issues like dm the organic instagram uh riffle shuffle support is awesome so yeah yeah. cool but it's gonna be very exciting i'm I'm excited i know i'm I'm super pumped for it yeah man it's gonna be really exciting and again i love the fact that it's not you know, people aren't missing out. I love the fact that it's not a one and done kind of thing. Like the opportunity is still there. So don't be discouraged if you don't have the carvers or you missed one of the other releases, like the opportunities there. And I think the great thing about it too, is, you know, this is something that we've always kind of discussed in these plugs about how you've consistently increased the, the runs, you know, obviously a few here and there were pre-planned and so they weren't, but yeah. I'm excited for these blueberries. Cause they're a pretty big run on these two, man. 4,500 decks. Yeah. Yep, there are 4,500. So again, like the last time that we sold this big of an amount of cards was Squeezers V3. Um, and those sold out in four or five hours. Yeah. Uh, which is great, like mind blowing to me that that many cards can sell in like hours. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, again, like we're, we're trying to print to demand. I mean, we're trying to print to demand of, you know, this many people want them. Like we want to try to get everybody a deck, you know? Yeah. Um, but then we're trying to not go like, oh, well, we'll print 10K of every deck because then like, you know, we're going to have a bunch of inventory that doesn't get sold. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of doing that dance of trying to figure that out. So uh, these shouldn't be like, they're not going to sell out in minutes. You're not going to have them in your cart and be like, click and check out and then miss them. Like That's that's not what I want to happen. Yeah. Uh, but I, I would be there like around launch time, uh, which we did move back. We moved our launch time back. Usually we launch at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are now launching at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 3rd. Yeah. So that is Which, big. And that's the early bird drop too. So for anyone yeah. who's thinking about getting this deck, you're going to be able to get it at a steal of a deal at $8.95 retail for that at the early bird, which I think is great. And then obviously the retail on it's going to be 12 So if it makes it to retail... Yeah. There's a there's a but there's a won't. pretty good yeah there's a pretty good incentive there though to get it early bird because you do save yeah. three dollars a deck which is an absolute deal right so um so yeah that's like one p.m. like just make sure you're there we we moved it back just because there are some people on the west coast that like it is it is a little earlier in the morning yeah to do eleven um and it doesn't really affect our European audience so um, nice. yeah so I think that, that might be the sweet spot of when of when decks might be launching. Nice, um, so yeah, March third, riffleshuffle.com. Excited. Yeah. One million nice. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that's I think that's phenomenal, and I think you know the other good thing that ties into that as well is for any of the uh, organic hangout or garden hangout oh. groups out there, yeah. you get a twenty four hour pre pre release. Yes. And those are always those signups are now always open, which I think is great. Yep. And on top of that, you actually expanded the pool. Yes. of who yes. of who can come into that well not who can come in but what sort of like uh interest niches yeah, yeah interest there you go yeah yeah so we did we did start a card collecting group so i'm excited to see how that goes uh we've had some really awesome people nice. uh, in the uh, opc community if you're not a part of our community big plug right here join the opc discord 
We yep. are plugging that so hard right now. Join the OPC Discord. Uh, join a garden hangout group. Um, it's not really that big of a time commitment. I don't. We'll have all the links below. All the yep. links below. Um, you can sign up, and I usually I try to add every couple weeks to different groups. Um, nice. And uh, each group uh, member in the Discord, uh, we have your own little section, your own little OPC hangout groups only section, uh, and the uh, link to buy the early bird gets put there. Nice. So you do get 24 hour early access for the uh for the deck and you get to buy them before everybody else so um and our groups have been really awesome because nobody like I, we're very strict we're like it's gonna take one person to like share the code with everybody and then we're not gonna ever do it again and like right. everybody's been really on top of it and like gotten their cards and like that's it so yeah. as long as that continues to happen like we want to do that for our people so yeah, so for anyone out there who's a collector, a cardist, or magician, or really just anyone who's into cards at all, yeah. who wants to get an even earlier access to the uh, to the Blueberry release and even future releases, make sure to go to that OPC link down below and sign up to join a Garden Hangouts group. They really are a great time, and ultimately, like I said, you know, you get a lot of perks out of it for for not for free. You know, yeah. so awesome. Dude. We are excited, man. This is going to be a fun release, Cam. It is. I'm so excited. I mean, the half brick box, the bags, the smell. It doesn't smell. Yes, like the smell is delightful. The smell is very <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's just... Mm, this is a big it. one, man. March yeah. 3rd, guys. March 3rd. March, March 3rd. 3rd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. $8.95, single deck price, early bird special. You definitely want to make sure you don't miss out on it. That will be on riffleshuffle.com. The link will be down below as well, everybody. And Cam, as always, man, it's always a pleasure having you on. What blows my mind about this, though, too, is this actually makes it... Did we do a plug for the Carvers? Yes. Yes. So this makes it the sure. sixth plug that you've been on, yes. which... That's exciting, man. It is exciting. That's yeah, a it'll lot. Be, it'll be 10 before the year's over, so. I'm, nice. I'm really excited for Ooh. that, man. Any chance we get to sit down with you and just chop it up and have some fun, man. We always look forward to it. Yep. And before we before we forget here as well, Cam is actually sporting the Snackers Blueberry Flavor shirt, which I think may actually be one of my favorite OPC shirts to date. Oh, yeah. So those are going to be available as well. So for anyone who's looking forward to the shirt, Go pick up your shirt. Go pick up your decks. Go pick up your sticker for your passport. March 3rd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at riffleshuffle.com. Yes. Peace. Oh my.